It was on Trescott Drive, and basically we blocked off the road, three or four houses to the <coughs> north and to the south. <coughs> so that whole area was considered the crime scene and only law enforcement was entering or exiting until you were done? Yes, ma'am. All right. When you arrived there, who was present on the scene from law enforcement or... Uh, Sergeant Sims was the first one on scene. Okay, was EMS and there by the time you got there, or did they arrive after you arrived? They were already there also. Okay, did you participate in clearing the residents there at Trescott? Yes. Was there any evidence of a struggle or a robbery present at the scene? Uh, in the garage. Okay. What was that? There was evidence of a robbery in the garage? Uh, of an incident, a violent incident. Compound question, I'm sorry. So there was some broken glass there. Yes, ma'am. Observed broken glass on the floor and inside of the vehicle. All right. Was... But no evidence of anything that had intruded into the home? No. Okay. As part of maintaining the crime scene perimeter, is crime scene tape put up across the road? Yes. <laughs> and did you participate in doing that? Yeah, I believe so, yes, ma'am. And I think you said it was a couple houses down in each direction is where the tape was placed? Yes. And where were you phys physically positioned? Uh, my patrol car was blocking the roadway. All right. And were you on the, don't use north and south because that would be lost on me. Were you closest on the side of the scene closest to Centerville Road or closest to the other side of Trescott? Uh, closer to Centerville. All right. I'm going to show you an aerial map that I've marked as States Exhibit 125. You recognize 125? Yes. Is that a fair and accurate map that includes the scene in this case? Yes, ma'am. Does it include the position that you were in at the crime scene tape? Yes. We've been somewhere right up in that area. Permission to publish 125. 